people. John Fury is back. Yeah, John Fury is back in front of camera at press conference and he is doing what he was doing before. Making a total you know what of himself, saying this, saying that, throwing water, making a scene as he so often does. It's been months now, what, five months now? There, thereabouts, since we actually last seen him, really properly. I mean, I think he was there at the Joshua versus Dubois fight because I know where kind of the promoters and kind of VIP would sit. You could see early on in the night when the, the seats were all empty, you could see Tommy and, and I think John was there. They were kind of right at the back. Interestingly enough, John Fury, who I thought maybe would have changed his ways, clearly not, wasn't interviewed. Maybe he didn't, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, only gonna, I'm not even gonna surmise there. But he's back front and center for this particular show. And this was obviously at the kickoff press conference, the Darren Till versus Tommy Fury. Apparently this fight's gonna happen a heavyweight. It's gonna happen on January the 18th, I think it is, up in Manchester. Yeah, look, Darren Till was in MMA for a while. Over the last few years, his MMA career wasn't going particularly well. He's now moved into professional boxing. He was meant to have his pro debut on the Tyson Paul undercard back in July. Apparently he was going to take on Chavez Jr. up at, I think it was Cruiserweight, if I'm not mistaken. That didn't happen, didn't take place, because obviously Mike Tyson had his health issues, so the whole car got pushed back. But they never rescheduled the fight, which is an interesting one. Now instead we get this, so I'm not going to labour too much about it. It's going to be up a heavyweight. Tommy Fury, I thought, was a light heavyweight, but he's never made the weight. He's never made the full 175 pounds, so unlikely he's going to be doing it now. But yeah, this was the kickoff press conference for that. John Fury was present, and I'm just gonna say, it's interesting that he's present at this one, and he wasn't present at the Usyk Fury press conference, because that was the kickoff press conference. Team Fury were there. John Fury is still a member of Team Fury, apparently. Tyson has said that he's not gonna be changing up the corner in any way, and obviously John was, was well and truly in it. I just did find it interesting that he wasn't at that press conference in London, but he's at this one now for Tommy Fury. Again, they're all members of Team Fury, fair enough, but again, it's just strange to me that John wasn't present at that. And I know Tyson is training in Malta. It's not it's not a crazy distance from the UK to Malta. So, you know, you could turn around and be like, well, why is he in the UK even if he is with Tommy and he's not with Tyson in Malta? It's not Malta. It's not a crazy flight. It's not, it's not like it's, it's not like he's going, you know, on an eight-hour journey halfway across the world. It's not like that. You probably get to, you could probably do the press conference today and be in Malta right now. Do you know that sort of way? But it is interesting the fact that this is the, the one he comes back to. Has he learned anything? No, he hasn't. Quotes from John Fury, you're not good enough to suck Tyson Fury's D. Brilliant. Ever the poet. Um, yeah, John Fury, up to his usual tricks. Loud Mountain, chuck water over Darren Till. So, those of you, maybe myself as well, thinking has John Fury maybe been given, told, you know, calm it down if you want it. Because I did suspect that, that after Tyson lost, Maybe members of Team Fury, maybe members of Queensbury, the Zone, uh, the Saudis, etc. Because I don't think, I don't believe this has any Saudi intervention. I think it's part of Misfits, the Zone, and stuff like that. So I, I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, Turkey Al Sheikh didn't want to be associated with any of the Misfits shows or anything like that. It was just real boxing. So maybe I'm assuming, and given the way John Fury behaved the fight week for Usek Fury, I mean, like, John Fury is. Narcissistic as hell, he's not a particularly nice guy. And that's me trying to be as, you know, diplomatic as I can be and just say he's not a particularly nice guy. But he took that not particularly nice guy to different levels that week. In particular, headbutting that young member, well, young member, I think he was 30 years old. He looked, he looked a lot younger than 30. Member of Team Usek coming off the worst and all the, the stuff, you, you know, just John Fury being John Fury. The obviously Saudis looked after the Usyk Fury kickoff press conference. He wasn't there for that, but yet with this one, which is you know it's misfits and you know he fits in well there. I was a great misfit when I was younger, though, to be fair. But he fits in well there, and no Saudi inter in intervention or anything like that with this show. I suspect that's why he's there. I'm wondering did he get told by Turkey Al Sheikh, Frank Warren, etc. That look you might think you're helping you might think you're doing a good job all this stuff and and again you got to bear in mind that if he was i think i'm pretty sure he was at the joshua dubois press or at the josh joshua dubois show that was a saudi show even though it was in the uk it was still a saudi show 
I'm wondering if he's been told by the Saudis, look, if you're going to be present at these shows, best behavior, no more, best behavior. Whereas when he's at these misfit shows, they'd probably be more annoyed if he was at his best behavior. In fact, they'd probably look at what he did there and thought, oh, Jesus, John, you didn't go hard enough there. So John Fury, back to his old tricks, he fits in well with these shows. He really does. And he's got more so it's going to be interesting to see because I would imagine I had a look on Boxing King Media, IFL, etc. Can't find any interviews with him just yet, but you know John Fury, you would imagine that an interview will be coming any minute, any hour on the hour. And it's going to be interesting to see because, look, John Fury is not a particularly nice guy in some of the things he says and does. I'm just going to say it like that. But there are times when he talks boxing. You, you know, you can tell he does know when it comes to boxing what he's talking about. Sometimes he can be just completely unobjective. And, and obviously you would expect that. It's his son, Tyson Fury and Tommy Fury as well. He's going to act. He's going to hype them up. But when you hear him talk and critique Tyson at times, it, he does make a lot of sense. So it's going to be really interesting to see what he has to say if he's being interviewed and they're asking about the rematch, if Tyson's doing anything different. Because we'll hear it probably straight from the horse's mouth. And sometimes he can be a little bit honest to uh, John Fury. I remember about this time last year, he was saying words that, uh, maybe this was kind of the precursor, maybe this was kind of the dead giveaway that Fury was inevitably going to pull out of the fight with Alexander Rusek. Anyway, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but he was saying about this time last year that the camp for Fury had already started quite bad. And bear in mind, the original fight date was going to be the middle or the end of February, I think it was, of this year. He was saying in December, I think in January as well, oh, the camp's not going well, he's not, he's not doing this, he's not doing this, not doing this. And I have to say, he didn't look particularly good in the footage that we did see of him, in particular the footage when he apparently got the cut, he looked slow as anything. So if that's what John Fury was saying, maybe he had a point, because Fury genuinely didn't look good. So it's going to be interesting to see what some of the interviews with John Fury. Look, John Fury is a character, I, I wasn't complaining not hearing from him. But it will be interesting to hear if they ask about this upcoming Fury Usyk fight. What what are his thoughts? But he's back, he's back at Misfits. That's the, that, the suit that you know. Honestly, it just you couldn't think of a better place to, for for John Fury to fit in. Fits in perfect there. Absolutely, he really does. So he's back. Let me know your thoughts. You interested to hear what he has to say about this upcoming fight with Fury Usyk? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, would you be later? Peace.